What's up guys, this is Abe Kislevitz, and today I'm going to give you a sneak peek demo of reframing 360 shots using the GoPro app for the new GoPro Max. This keyframe demo that I'm going to show you is available for both GoPro Max and GoPro Fusion. There's also a desktop app that will act very similar to this one. The only difference between Max and Fusion here is the Max will already be stitched directly in the camera and you Fusion owners know that you have to do the standard stitching on the GoPro Fusion Studio. So I've already connected my GoPro Max to my phone via Wi-Fi and I've downloaded the clip. I've got a 360 clip in the GoPro app. And let's just take a look at what this clip looks like before we do any keyframing. So if we hit play, we can see that I am filming with a super long pole and we have this shot that kind of moves through this room, this scene, there's a lot going on. You can see me kind of trying to get out of the way, following the action. And so what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the moves of this shot so we get some pretty cool and unique views. So to start out, we hit the keyframe button. I'm just going to set it to 16 by 9. And we find our first place where we want to put a keyframe. We just hit the keyframe, scroll to the next part, zoom to the next frame. And you keep going throughout the video. So each time I'm finding a new frame, I'm setting a keyframe, scrolling to the next part in the video where I want the view to look, and the keyframes will transition between these different views. So as I come out, I want the camera to swoop around and look at these guys walking out. And then as I pass, I want to be looking at these guys and then turn back to look at them as I race in front of them. And so now what we want to do is we want to adjust our easing between all of the keyframes. So we just hover here. I like to do ease both. So I'm just going to slide back through all the different transitions and switch them all to ease both. That just gives you a really nice motion between all of your keyframes. All right, so we'll uh, check it back through and see how we did. So right here I notice that I'm just a little bit in the bottom of the frame, so we can just scroll back, adjust the view, and overwrite the last keyframe. So as we keep going, it looks pretty good. The camera swivels around, swivels back out. And then here's a little tricky because it looks like I'm getting in the shot. So we can go back through, adjust a couple of these keyframes. And then if we want to, we can add another keyframe. So I'm just going to add one right in the middle here to uh, fix this spot. And then again, I'm going to adjust my easing between these two keyframes. And that's basically it. All right, so we've got the clip that we want, and I just want to trim off the end. So I'm just going to hit the trim tool, start at the end, go back to the beginning, trim off a little on the beginning and go ahead and hit save and we'll render out the video. So this is gonna create a 16 by 9 1080p version of this video in your GoPro app. And next what we can do is add some of the new color correction tools right within the app. So we go and hit the little pencil, go over to filter. Um, we got a bunch of filters to choose from. Um, I like Gilly for this one. And you can adjust the intensity of the filter here. And then we've got some color correction adjustments we can make. So I'm going to bump the exposure up a little bit. And then go over to shadows and take those shadows up. Bring down the highlights. We'll drop the vibrance or saturation a little bit. And we'll cool the clip off temperature wise. So with that, it looks like we're good to go. We can save this out. Next, we can take it one further and use the auto edit tools right in the GoPro app. So we can pop this open. We'll remove the first title card. 
We'll adjust the trimming on the clip. Right now it auto edits to different cuts. So if I hit manual, it'll just take the whole clip, change it to 16 by nine, and I'm gonna switch it over to the Cine theme, which adds some black bars to it. Plug in some music. You can pick from custom music on your phone and then hit save. And we'll render this clip out and save it to our phone. So just like that, we've gone from a full 360 clip stitched directly in the camera, downloaded it to the app, did the whole reframe with keyframes, easing, good motion, color corrected it, added effects, music, and we've done this in all under five minutes, which is pretty insane considering stuff like this would usually take me at least two hours to do before. Thanks for joining and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Shout out to Benjamin Ortega for bringing this rad crew together and check out this shot in Yoon Olsen's vlog.